What's up gamers and welcome back to another episode of New Game Plus. As always, I'm Amanda Cunningham and with me is my trusty co-host AJ Tanari. Aloha gamers. And our one and only trusty producer Ryan Cunningham. Oh, aloha gamers. So this week, it's actually, it's actually really exciting. AJ, what, what's going on this week? This week is very special because we have a big time celebrity guest here. Every, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nikki Pooh, the streamer. Well, what an introduction. Thank you, AJ, Amanda, for having me on your awesome show. I am so excited to be here, talk some streaming, talk some gaming. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem, buddy. And, you know, a little bit of a background. Me and Nick have a bit of a history. We used to do a show here called Nick and Night. And uh, it was a lot of fun, but Nick, we're, you know, me and Amanda, we've left the nest. We've got our own show now. Can, can you believe it? I honestly, you know what? I can believe it because uh, honestly, I want to speak the truth here. I feel like uh, Amanda, you're one of the most hardworking people oh, that I've met you. there. And oh, I felt like you. you truly deserved this. And AJ, I felt like you're one of the most creative minds I've ever met. So I felt like that duo, I know you wanted to do like a bit here, but I, I, this is where I'm going. This is where I, you know what I mean? This is where that's went. I, I, I thought that I was like, wow, this is a great duo. And I don't know Ryan, your producer, like I, I didn't meet him, but he seems like a cool dude from what I watched. So like, I, I think this is great. I'm excited to be here. Hey, oh, Nick, that's, that's very sweet. Thank you, man. They're very kind words, Nick. Thank you very much. Hey, but, uh, no problem. You know what? You know what? This is like the best gaming show to be on, so don't worry. Your popularity sh should skyrocket after this. So uh, you're in the big leagues, buddy. Yeah, you'll be a Twitch partner in no time. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm not <laughs> in the big leagues. Nowhere near. I'm trying, but nowhere near. Baby steps. True. But you know what? Speaking of baby steps, let's just jump right into yeah. this. So, like, what inspired you to start streaming? When did you start? I mean, how's how's everything going? Like, just give us a little background right here. Yeah. <sighs> Can you guys hear me? I just want to make sure because I hit my mic. Yeah. yeah you're good. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So, I'm, uh, you know, I'm still a rookie. So, um, <laughs> uh, no. So, what inspired me? I grew up, like, loving YouTube. I absolutely adored YouTube. I watched it so much. Like, even when I'm supposed to be, like, studying, I'm watching it. When I'm supposed to be doing something important, I'm watching it. And I always wanted to be, like, a YouTube star ever since I was a little kid. And so I I just wanted to be, like, a star, you know? And so on uh, YouTube, I, I used to make, like, backyard wrestling matches and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, which is so funny um, looking back. And... But I also used to watch a lot of gaming stuff. Like I used to watch these guys. They were called Vanoss Gaming, and they had like a whole friend group. And it was like Vanoss and this guy Wildcat, and they had a lot of funny stuff. And then when I got older, you know, you you kind of when you watch shows, you kind of aren't into shows anymore, so you move on. Well, the same thing happens in YouTube. Like I moved on from those gamers, those streamers, and then I started watching older streamers and older gamers, and I was like, you know what? Like I really like what they're doing. I like how they're playing with their friends. I. I I, I do this. I do this. I just don't film it, you know? So I was already, I was already gaming. I was already having fun with my friends. And we always used to joke about why, why we, do we not film this? Like some of the stuff we do is hilarious. So I just was like, you know what? I wanted, I've always wanted to, you know, I've always wanted to do something. And I felt like that was it. And yeah, that's my answer. Oh, very empowering, Nick. Man, yeah, I could I definitely relate it. to that. Uh, but yeah, how's streaming been going, and uh, what kind of games have you been playing? Uh, it's going, oh, dude. It's guys. It's it's a struggle. <laughs> I gotta say because you have to <laughs> you have to stay on you have to stay on schedule every time. Like you you really can't take an off day. Like I know like there's days where you just want to like there's days where I'm not I don't even want to do it, and I'm just like no I gotta do it you know. And right now I like because I'm just starting and I'm only like three months four months in. I purposefully made it only a three day a week thing, but I plan on making it more if it takes off more, you know, like I want to try a bunch of different things. You know? Like I know we're talking gaming, but I want to try podcasts. I want to try, uh, I want to bring Nick at night back in a different way. You know, uh, I want to do some, I want to do a bunch of different stuff, but uh, 
this is the stuff, something that I really wanted to do right now. And I, over time, have been getting the different equipment that I need to do this. Like, I've been getting, like, uh, I had a TV as my freaking sorry <laughs> this uh as my screen for a while and then I, I i finally updated and got a double monitor and then uh, i had like a terrible keyboard finally updated and got a better keyboard then i had a dslr and i found out the dslr doesn't work for streaming i was like Ugh! so i had to get a new mirrorless camera and i looked up the like the most mirrorless no the most dslr mirrorless camera there are there is on the market or something like that and i was like found like 50 different ones and I'm like, oh <laughs> god I had, so there's like there's like a whole like i'm a i'm a gamer i love gaming and i love entertaining right mm -hmm. but then there's the side that's the tech side that i went to school to learn and it's still like jumbles in my head and sometimes like gets confusing for me to understand and so yeah that's that's how it's going. <laughs> um, but as for what games I play, um, I'm I like to play. As you guys know, I love to entertain. I like to do. I like to be weird, you know. And so I like to do voices, like character voices. So I like to play games where I have to maybe be a cowboy and I talk like this the entire time. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. Or Very maybe immersive. I. You heard it talks like a pirate the entire time, like in Shea of Thieves. You know, so like I like to change it up and do stuff like that. That's where it's the most fun for me. And playing with friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And it gives like that's it gives you personality. It gives you yeah. like who you are coming through. So that's that's awesome. But you know, with Twitch, it's it's the community. That's what it is. Like every streamer has their own chat, every streamer has their own community. And you know, it's just with that foundation that you build off of to become who you are. So, how is your chat like? What's your community like? I mean, is it? I know you're still new, you're still growing, yeah. but I think, I mean, having a community just in general, even if like it's only five viewers, it's still something. So, how's that been going for you? I I find it a lot of fun. I really enjoy talking to the the chat. Like I like just going. Something bad happens in a game, and I just blow my lid you know what i mean my lid goes mm -hmm. off and i just like turn the chat like chat yeah. what what the heck you know what yeah. i mean and then yeah. like they, they they answer they answer me or they, they make make fun of me like joking they like bust my chops you know and, yeah. and that's fun that's fun for me i like how they they might not be a gamer they might just be someone trying to support me but they're still kind of like hanging out with me so like I, I think that's cool and um i've met a few people like i have no idea who they are but they you know sometimes they'll show up in the chat and they're like yo what's up nick and I'm like, yo, what's up, shy chip? Like, I have no idea who that is. You know what I mean? Like, but it's mm -hmm. it's cool. Like, I, I it's you know, I have three viewers, but one of them I don't have any idea who they are. You know, and that's cool to me. So I I do think Twitch is really really unique, and that's why I know I said YouTube in the beginning, but that's why I kind of made the switch to Twitch because of how interested interesting it is to me. I I find it like its own other thing. I know YouTube's kind of like becoming that, and like they're kind of competing, but. Twitch really to me was a, a lot different than YouTube and it really piqued my interest. So that's one of the reasons I also wanted to stream. Nice, man. I mean, that, that sounds like really great. Uh, I assume like the interaction is like a lot of fun, like every time you stream, especially like, you know, getting to know that community, even though it's like so small, it's, it's probably feels like really good. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So as like someone who's starting out, do you have any tips for people who would like, like to jump in? Oh. Oh, the tips. I need the tips. <laughs> I, I need the tips. No. Uh, like I said, stay on track. Like, uh, no off days. Like, if you're really sick, yeah, obviously take a day off. Like, get better. But you know what? Make up that day. So, for example, I can't stream on Wednesday this week. I got something going on. Uh, but so tonight I'm going to stream because I got to make up that day. I want to make sure I do three. Right. Last mm -hmm. week I took two. Uh, and then I'm also you know, a hypocrite because last week I took two days off. So like, what am I talking about? But seriously, <laughs> that is like the main thing is to really stay on track of your schedule. Like you really, you really want to. Um, the other thing is, and I, I even have to get better at this. So I'm like telling you this, but, and I'm also like trying to reassure myself, like Nick, come on, like do this. You got to post like every day, mm -hmm. even if you're not streaming, you got to post every day. Yeah. So that way you're constantly being like, relevant. like you're minding your audience and you're reminding people who aren't even your audience that your name's out there. Hey, mm -hmm. yo, watch Nikki Poo. 
at seven o'clock on seven thirty on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. You know, like on, on, like constantly just doing that to the point where you're like, am I annoying? You know, like you start oh. to wonder if you're annoying, and yeah, it's annoying. Okay. But there's someone that doesn't know you that is like, whoa, this is a small streamer. I want to like them. I, I that's cool. I want to help them out. That's who's gonna see you. So okay. that's what yeah. that's what your that's who your audience is. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's just, you know, constantly posting. Like, I know you said, is it annoying? And yeah, maybe it is. But like you said, it's just that one person that thinks, oh, I've never, I don't know who this is. And they're a smaller streamer. I know a lot of people want to support smaller streamers. And, you know, it's just that one person. And it, you know, it builds up. Like, more people are going to say, oh, cool. Like, we're going to watch this. We're going to tune in. Even if it's just one day or even even if it's just an hour, it can really, you know, be. Makes all the difference. Yeah, it makes all the difference, I bet. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, like I was talking to this guy at Best Buy who said he was a small streamer and like some guy just like found out he's a small streamer and donated like seven hundred dollars to him. And for me, like I'm not about the money, but like that's that's pretty cool. Like mm-hmm. that's a really yeah. nice gesture, you know. And that just shows you that they are there are people out there looking to just help out someone. And uh, I think if they, I think you just got to be serious though. Like mm-hmm. for me, I'm mm-hmm. serious about this. I want to, I want to be good at it. I, I when I try try start to do something, I want to be good at it, and I want to stay good at it. So I'm like determined more. That and that's why I like to do this because it's something like I constantly like to teach myself new things. And now that I'm out of school, I, I want to learn something. So this is it. Oh, well, that's great, man. I'm glad like to hear that it's you're really putting like a lot of work into this. Uh, any like future plans and like any any projects in the works? Oh, oh, <laughs> um, well, I would like to bring back Nick at Night in a way. You know, you t- you mentioned that in the mm-hmm. beginning. Uh, I would like to bring that back in a way. I don't want to spoil too much, but you've seen some things that I've sent you. But yeah, I uh, I'd like to possibly bring that back in a different way than I've ever done it. Mm-hmm. But maybe like still feed off of the old way to kind of like you know give it that uh, yeah. the final touch I guess I, I don't know like like build the, the other foundation thing I want to do of... is oh sorry what were you saying uh, so like like kind of like build the foundation back up but like add like new stuff on top yeah yeah like t- maybe add some new people like not mm-hmm. like you know what I mean um that isn't it's not just me because like I I don't really like to do that too much and then. The other thing was I want to get back into podcasting. Like I loved doing the radio show at, at 98.5 WNUW LP Aston. Shout out to Sean McDonald. Um, <laughs> I I loved doing the radio. That was the most fun at Newman to me. And you literally could just go on there and just talk about something for over an hour. And you could have 100 people listening to you or no, no one listening to you, but – you could then just play that back, take that, use that, make yourself better, go back, do it again. And I want to get better at that in my own way. Like I, I loved doing it at Newman, but I want to do it myself too, if that makes sense. Like I want yeah. you know what I mean? Like I'm doing yeah. this on my own, so I want to do that on my That's own too, right. and then come back and like help, you know? Like I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's no, that's yeah. why one of the reasons like I I wanted to do this bit with you in the beginning AJ mm-hmm. that you were saying I know I'm, I'm not trying to be annoying right now but I want to put you guys over I want to make your show the show you know what I'm saying you're there now take take the uh the bull by the horns and be the show oh well, we appreciate it buddy yeah thanks Nick mm-hmm. listen why don't you give yourself a shameless plug where can we find you on Twitch when do you stream Let's give us that information for mm-hmm. anybody watching who. Wants to support a smaller streamer, as you said earlier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shameless plug. First, I'm going to plug uh, your eSports head coach at Newman. D, that's who I'm playing with tonight, and she's streaming. And she, her name is Mean Queen 6 And if I get her numbers wrong, then you can just go to mine. Because <laughs> you can then go to hers through there. It's a win-win. Which is uh, – yeah, I don't want to mess it up, but mine, you would look up twitch.tv slash x Nikki underscore poo. That's twitch.tv slash x Nikki underscore poo. That's, and yeah, I wanted to just be Nikki poo, but apparently there's like 47 of them, so. <laughs> Gotta be unique. Mm-hmm. Gotta be unique. Yeah. Be your own man, Nick. All right. You're the, yeah. you're the duo. 
Thanks. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, we try. We All try. Right. We'll Appreciate the kind words. Beep boop. Uh, little producer moment here. <coughs> we still got those to get to. Yeah, yeah, we're Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, we're, okay, get, we're getting enough. these dry. Thanks, Ty. Uh, well, Nick, we appreciate you coming out on the show. Very insightful. Uh, you know, ki kind of heart of heartwarming, man. A nice little re reunion. Uh, any last words before we uh, transition? Last words is uh, just some, you know, keep hustling. Keep doing your thing. Uh, take names. And the know. other thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just proud of, I'm just proud of you you guys. I am. Girl and guy. Sorry. I'm trying to get better at that, too. No, you're, you're, you're mm -hmm. fine. Thanks, Nick. That means a lot. And thank you so much for coming on our show. It means the world to us. Uh, and, yeah, everyone, go check out twitch.tv slash xnicky underscore poo. Yeah. And support his stream. Give him $700. Thanks, It'll be funny. Yeah. Thanks so much, Nick. Bye, Nick. Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right. That was AJ. I got to say, that was great. Very wholesome, you know, not what, what I was expecting, but hey, it was still great anyway. Yeah, for but sure. But fellas, it's your favorite segment of the day. News. We got news. And boy, howdy, is it a week for news. Nintendo fans, rise up. The classic meme of Nintendo refusing to port Mother 3, the English translation, into America strikes back yet again with Reggie Fisame, former pre president of Nintendo of America, Recently tweeting in response to a tweet put out by Twitch asking what old games that do you own but have never played. And he said the English translation of Mother 3, which opened up the can of worms that got everyone speculating, what could this mean? Now, I personally would not get my hopes up because, you know, Reggie always does this. He always, you know, plays like the puppet master with the, this uh, topic. But, you know, it's still, I'm still holding on for hope that maybe one day we can experience this in, in like its full glory. Uh, next up. Another obscure franchise in the news, F-Zero, has the potential to possibly come back. Now, a lot of people thought that the series has been dead for a while, as no new games have been released since, like, 2006 or 7. But uh, someone at Nintendo recently said that uh, the franchise is just in, like, hibernation. It's, it's not dead. It could come back if they come up with a new gimmick. But, however, this kind of raises the question, do we really need a new gimmick for a new game? Can we, the fans just have what they, they already like? But, you know, it happened with Star Fox Zero, with, you know, Nintendo forcing their gimmick down everyone's throat, especially mine. I hated that so much. Uh, but, yeah, and Amanda, what do you think of uh, Nintendo's policy about, like, gimmicks and reviving old franchises? I don't know. Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, what's wrong with, like, doing it? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just a big, I don't know. That's a good question. You kind of caught me off guard there, AJ. <laughs> um, but... I mean, I'm. I don't know. They should just do it. Just, just give us like what we want. Yeah, just give us what yeah. we want. Like, what's what's so wrong about bringing? Yeah, Revive? Nintendo. Let's uh, listen up. Is this like the second time that you guys forgot to ask me a question? Uh, well, right. Well, I wasn't. Maybe this time we didn't forget, Ryan. Yeah, think I, of that? I was. No, I think you did. Okay. All right. I, okay. Sorry, Ryan. Uh, well, uh, next up. <laughs> you know. I'm surprised that this is even a thing, uh, but back in 2017, when season three of Rick and Morty came out, there was the infamous Pickle Ree incident mm -hmm. in which one brave young man went up to the McDonald's counter, hopped up on the counter, exclaiming that he wanted his Szechuan sauce, but he never got it. And it kind of sent the, the series into like this uh, pit of irony that has never escaped. Yeah. And I believe that it still has not, because Rainbow Six just released some new DLC themed after Rick and Morty, including Pickle Rick, which comes in a full costume, and it's just insane. Like, I mean, I have mixed feelings on this. It's hilarious that they're actually bringing it out, but, like, it's also kind of why, man. Like, with the, the reputation around this is just rubbing me the wrong way. Uh, but, you know, Rick and Morty fans rejoice. This DLC comes with the Pickle Rick costume, uh, some different skins for your weapons and, like, two little accessories you can attach. And they re retail for about, like, 15 to $20. So if you're a big Rick and Morty fan, go out there and uh, enjoy some, some Pickle Rick action. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. That picture of the guy just standing on the counter all, gets me all the time. It's a all classic. It is a classic. Like, look at that. I mean, he just wanted his sauce. Like, yeah. Just give him the sauce. Give the man his sauce. Yeah. All right. So... 
A lot of Resident Evil stuff coming up. Um, so Resident Evil Village, as we all know, is coming out very soon. And so they just dropped uh, a demo. And however, it was a little wonky. The, the timing was completely weird. A lot of people missed out on it because of the awkward time that they had it open for everybody. So it was only an eight hour availability. And then you can only play it for 30 minutes. So it was a little, a little weird. But there are two more demos coming out. So... And it's still a little in that wonky, like, time frame. So maybe um, if people just get the timing right, then they'll be able to play it. And hopefully, once it actually comes out, uh, everyone will like the game. So that's big fingers crossed for that. And then, uh, moving on with more Resident Evil, the Resident Evil Reverse uh, came out. Um, the demo happened. Um, but it's one it's a multiplayer game which is really cool because you know i mean you don't really see that with the resident evil games so i think it'd be really cool a really fun new thing that they had going for them um but it will be available for all players who do own resident village so if you free get of charge it, yeah free of cool. charge that's free of charge so definitely something that's going to be exciting and you get to play as you know fan favorites like chris redfield and bill valentine you know and also famous antagonists from the game so Definitely something really fun. The really cool multiplayer spin-off series that they had going for them. So get your hands on Resident Evil Village if you want an entirely um, free and fun Resident Evil Reverse. And finally, Friday's a very big day for the Yakuza community. Judgment comes out. It is releasing on PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Google Stadia. It's a spin-off game from the mainline Yakuza series with a whole new protagonist in the shoes of a detective. So it's completely different. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a new storyline. So a lot of new things that are going to happen. But with this new game comes brand new hardware, meaning it will run at 60 FPS, improved load times, and it will contain previously released DLC, which includes drone frames, battle items, and a, a ton more things that come with that DLC. Um, another good thing, and probably a lot of positives, uh, real-time brawler-style combat. Unlike the turn-based style in Yakuza, like a dragon, so you'll be able to move freely and just have the combat that you're probably more used to with the entire Yakuza series. And finally, the styles are back like it was in Yakuza 0, so you get to choose which ones you want. And they are bringing new styles called the crane style and the tiger style, so that'll be exciting. Um, and you're not just kind of stuck in one position with the turn base, which turn base isn't bad, but I think maybe for a game like this, the free combat works more, more easily and yeah, flows more better. more dynamic, more fun. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, Friday, that comes out April 23rd. Get your hands on it if you want to. And uh, yeah, it'll be great. AJ, that was a fun episode, that I gotta was, say. Yeah. That, that was so much fun. Mm -hmm, got a little nostalgic, meeting uh, our old friend again, talking about some uh, possible careers in the future. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. Uh, but, you know, as always, me and Amanda have to go home and be losers and play video and games. And play video games, yep. Mm -hmm. So thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. I'm AJ. That was Amanda. Ryan is somewhere around here. Uh, I'm, I'm still here. There he is. That, that's him. That's There's him. our guy. That's yeah! Guy. yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Re relax. All right. I'll, oh, okay. I'll get one. Sorry. Sorry. Like in a sec. Okay. okay. Sorry, Ryan. Uh, but, yeah. See you next week. <laughs>